everyone, it's Rebecca and Tanya. Today we want to talk to you about space planning. Considering that Christmas is coming up, you may be thinking about purchasing a new sofa or sofa bed for family coming over, or just want to redesign your space, but make sure that you measure and space it out prior to purchasing. Well, at least these little tips that I'll, I'll show you. Uh, there's a lot of furniture suppliers that as it gets into Christmas and as it gets right after Christmas, they're going to be offering a lot of sales. So here's some tips on how you can actually save yourself some money when buying furniture so that you don't buy some unneeded, unwanted products that are not going to fit in your space. Definitely. So, Especially when there is no return. That's right. You don't want to do that. Um, first thing you want to do is head out to your local staples. You're going to get yourself some of this funky scrap paper. It's right here. Um, quarter inch scrap paper. And what you're going to do is it's not going to cost you that much. It's like five bucks. Yeah, those things, like two that. bucks, three you bucks, you can use it for other stuff later on. There's some okay, so now that you have your quarter inch paper, you need to go into your space and you need to measure your whole entire room. Yeah, go go around, make sure you're measuring in inches because trust me, in the long run, it's going to be a whole lot easier. Measure electrical outlets, you need to know where um, plug ins are, heating vents, heating anything vents. major like that because you Every don't want to cover the heating vents with your sofa. Absolutely. Um, another big thing that you need to keep in mind is um, main washroom spaces. So if you have an area that you find, kind of watch watch people in your house and find out if there's a lot, if there's one area that a lot of people are walking through, you need to make sure that when you're doing your space planning that you allow three feet of walking space for that. You don't want to be wiggling and squeezing through yeah. spaces. And trust me, nice three feet doesn't seem like a lot, but once you start getting smaller, then yeah, when you start kind of going sideways to get through your own, then you can- <laughs> Not a good that. thing. Not good. Not good at all. So anyways. Um, we just finished a project and we wanted to show you just some examples of how you can actually space plan. And when you do space plan something properly, uh, everything will tie in and it'll just, it'll all come together and work really, really well. So what we're going to do is just going to show you a picture of actually what we did. This is our rough draft of how we actually took the graph paper and we used the graph paper and drew out some little measurements. And then afterwards, we'll show you a computer, um, computer drawing of the same space planning. So... Here it is. And then when you're looking at those photos, you could see where all the, the little furniture that we drew out that you could do yourself. It's not hard. Mm -hmm. um, usually when you go shopping, the manufacturer or the supplier of the store, wherever you're going shopping to get your furniture, they should have specs or dimensions that they will be able to give you that will have the full dimensions of length, width, height, sofa, everything of table. the sofa. Yeah. And that you could take yourself and just draw out on your quarter inch paper, your graph paper, and uh, cut it out and actually piece it into your space. And then it's, you'll see. It's really, really simple. Um, keep in mind that when you're using graph paper, just like one foot. So when you look at one of the squares, what you can do is one square equals one, one foot. foot. And that's why when we say um, measure in inches, it makes it a whole lot easier because most of the time some average sizes for sofas is like seven foot, an apartment size sofa can be like six feet and a love seat mm -hmm. about five feet. So because of that, you, if you measure in inches, it's a whole lot easier to be able to put that on the graph paper later on. So now it's time to go shopping. So we're going to go shopping. There's a super sale. And we find this sofa that we absolutely love. Do we OMG. buy it? OMG. OMG, OMG, the sofa is Must fantastic. Have. I have to have it. It works. I need it. Want it. Do we buy it right now? No. No. Measure, space plan on your graph paper. That's right. Then if it's meant to be, it's still there for you. Go for it. You can always tell them, here's a little helpful hint. Tell them that your designer wants you to go home and, and measure. measure. Then you take your dimensions, you go back to your space plan, you put it in there. If it fits, awesome. Then you go back. Now, here's the other thing as well. What you can also do is ask for a fabric sample while you're there, and you can take that home with you because sometimes it won't it won't look quite as nice as it looks in the store in your house. Lighting varies everywhere. A majority of retail stores do have halogens, so yellow tones are going to emit, and in your own space, depending on your lighting, if you have a lot of natural lighting, it's going to look completely different. So make sure that you do take that sample home to see if you do like it day and night. Day and, that's, and that's a really good point because you're going to see, we actually just finished a project and I'm so excited to show you. It turned out fantastic. Um, you're going to actually see 
um, how all the colors all work together. With this particular piece, we actually did bring all the samples back. So this is something we do for a living, but yet we still bring the samples back to the house to see how it looks because you're absolutely right. The lighting. Fabrics, lighting, paint, everything like that will change when you bring the samples. So let's take a look at the before pictures of the house that we are working on. And then the after photos. Super excited about this one. Um, you'll notice some of the things that we started with, we had a blank slate. Some of the things we did is we added the stone on the fireplace, mm -hmm. and then of course all the fire, all the uh, furniture that was in there. Um, some things to think about is when you're doing your own space, you need to factor in what your needs are. Do you have a dog? Do you have kids? Things like that, that's gonna- Do you like to host? A lot of seating? Right. Think about what you want out of your space, and then you can yourself space plan according to your needs. Always ask questions. If you're talking to a salesperson, if you walk in there, if you're not not too sure, um, you can ask them, you know what, I have five kids, we like to eat on our, in our sofa, what is something that we can use? They can then show you products that in turn will be able to um, work with what, what your needs are. Okay, so in closing, um, just some tips. For, for you in space planning, always remember to measure everything. Um, your, your space that you wanna work on, um, make sure you have your full dimensions prior to purchasing anything because you don't wanna waste your money and you don't wanna waste your time. Some easy tips to do space planning. Um, yeah, graph paper, use a graph paper. Now here's a really, really simple one. If you don't wanna take the time to use a graph paper, which and draw by the way, out, yeah, it doesn't dress. take very long. <laughs> But if you're one of those people that just doesn't want to do that and you want to go shopping and you love this piece and you got to buy it, use a little bit of tape. Masking tape is fantastic. Again, get your dimensions, go into your room, actually tape the product, the size of the product right on the floor. You're going to be able to see exactly how much space that you have and you can see whether or not it's going to fit. Newspaper, put newspaper yeah. on the floor, you can see that. Newspaper works. Helps to fill the space. That's right. Um, it's really important for us... Um, Give special thank you to the people who helped actually with the project that we we just showed you um in short it's with we could pick colors we could pick furniture all that stuff but really Definitely it's a big buyers. yeah team effort to be able to pull it all off some of the people big um big thank you to digital lifestyles you actually look at the pictures all the digital product is actually stored in the mirror chest there so you can't see the weave because everybody's the not high, a weave all the cords all, all the cords all that fantastic stuff job. yeah into the mirror chest, a huge thank you to them. Um, the stone on the fireplace that we put, that was from Julian Tile. Ryan Anchorman did the actual install in it. He did a fantastic job. Um, Bondor, Jacques Home Furnishings. Um, we also had the electricians in there. Everybody who is involved, we want a huge thank you. We will have a list of all the suppliers. But again, any questions, concerns, or anything like that, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.